Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically show you how to rack your server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video is a pretty simple video. We are gonna show you how to rack your server. Uh, all you are going to need is a pair of sliding rails and your rack. So let's go ahead and hop in and show you exactly how to do it. All right, now we're gonna put our rails into our rack. So right here, you'll see it says left front. So we're gonna get on the left side and have this on the front. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I like to do this with two people, it just makes it a lot lot easier. Uh, Angel, let's go ahead and do uh, eight and nine. So we're going to line them up in the back first. And essentially, there's just two little pegs right here, um, as long uh, as well as two little hooks. And you're just going to line it up and simply just push it in. And it's really that simple. When you push it in, you'll hear it click into place. Now, if I were to shake it, it is firmly in there. I can't just yank it out. It is in the uh, the rack right now. Now, if I wanted to remove it, you see the blue clip right here. You just simply pull this blue clip out and then now I can pull my rails off the rack. So I'll show you that one more time. We'll just clip this into place. So it locks in, I can't remove it. And then if we wanted to, you take the blue clip and you can just pop it right off. So it's just that easy. And then there are the inner rails, which we'll show you just in a second. So now we'll go ahead and we'll do the right rail. All right, so next we're gonna do the right. So you'll see it says right front on the inner. So we're just gonna turn this around so that the right front is facing on the right front side. So Angel, we're gonna do uh, eight and nine again. So I always like to have the back ones put in first. So he'll uh, put them in and then I'll go ahead and align mine up. And again, you just line the pegs up, click it in. It's firmly locked into place. If I were to try to shake it, it's firmly in there. And again, if I wanted to remove it, just the blue clip, I can pop it right off and we'll put this back in and locked into place. And now we'll show you how to use the inner rails. All right, so I'll show you how to do the inner. So these will simply just slide out. The first rail will click and then your second rail will come out and it is firmly locked into place. You can see I can't push it back. If I did want to actually put push this back, there is a, a blue button right here that you can push in and then this will slide back into place. And once it gets all the way into the second inner, then you can push both inners in. So that is how you'd use your inner. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna slide this out and we're gonna slide this one out as well. And on the inners, there are several notches that are carved out. And uh, Angel, if you could bring the server up, so you will see that the rivets on the side of your server, essentially you want to line up with the, uh, the notches that are carved out. So let's go ahead and uh, put the back two in to start. Okay, so now that the back two are in, we like to kind of just almost like a hinge, just go straight down with this and make sure that it gets into the other ones as well. Once it's in, I'm not holding it, Angel's not holding it, it is physically into uh, the rails right now. All right, and the final step to get our server actually into the rack, because it is locked into place right now, is the uh, inners on the side, the blue button, we're just gonna wanna push this down and we'll do it together and it'll just simply slide back into place. Now, the server is locked into the rack right now. So if you're at home and you're saying, hey, how do I actually get my server out? Well, if you look right here and here, Angel, thank you for pushing it. You push these two up and you can use you up and you just slide it out, right? So we'll do that again. We'll both just push these up and then you can just slide it out and the server will come freely out of the rack. So thanks for stopping by to learn how to rack your R740 server. Do us a favor if, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're interested in any custom built servers, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we build new and we build used. We'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Thanks for stopping by guys.